quick little build today working on upgrading my table for virtual shows. Uh, this is what I have been using. This is actually a cutting board uh, with a flange adapter. Uh, and then I uh, used this, I believe was a closet pole, uh, but I found that it was the right uh, size for one of these standard tripod bases that I like to use. Um, it's been fine, however, it does have a little bit of a wobble to it. And so uh, I was looking to fix that, especially if I put like a larger item on here. Uh, so this is the mock-up of version two. Uh, this is a luxury close-up pad from TCC. Uh, and then this is a speaker tripod flange from on stage stands. And then this is just a regular uh, inch and three eighths speaker tripod. This thing is a lot more sturdy just because of the bigger diameter and people aren't gonna see it anyway. And I can adjust the uh, foot spread to be whatever I want. So the plan, is to see if I can attach this top to that flange uh, with only that much material thickness. All right, so I am happy with this. Um, I think it'll be okay. Uh, this is with no glue, so I'm happier about that if I wanna take it all apart again later. Uh, this is just with the right size drill bit, uh, and then I used some, what were these? <laughs> Number 632 bolts uh, went in there. Um, I would never send this off to a client <laughs> because the odds of again with wear and tear uh, those bolts eventually coming out are pretty high but knowing that a uh, I know how much wear and tear I'm going to put on it which is not much and frankly when I'm going to be moving it around I'm always going to grab it like this as opposed to grabbing it like that um, and then also the fact that if it starts to get a little loose then uh, I fix it then I go to phase two or whatever uh, but I like that everything was done with fasteners as opposed to adhesive so that if I want to disassemble it for whatever reason in the future, I can. Um, so yeah, uh, super little easy thing, but uh, happy with uh, how this table turned out.